Once there were two sisters. Dolores was seven and Sandra was five. They lived in a small house in the country with their mother and their baby brother, Arthur. Their father was a seaman and was away on a long voyage. One day, Dolores and Sandra were, walking, were running across a field in the other house when they met a gypsy girl playing a drum. Her family was camping in the field for a few days. As the girl played, a little mechanical man and woman came out of the drum and danced. Dolores and Sandra had never seen such a drum, and they begged the girl to give it to them. She looked at them and laughed. I will give it to you, she said, but only if you are really bad. Come back tomorrow and tell me how bad you were, and I will see. As soon as the two sisters got home, they started shouting, which was against their rule in their house. And they swirled all over the walls, and they, with their crayons at supper, they spilled their food. And when it was time for bed, they wouldn't go. They did everything they could to think, think of to upset their mother. They were really bad. Early the next morning, they hurried off to find the gypsy girl. We were really bad yesterday, they told her. So please give us a drum. But when they were told, they told her what they had done, the gypsy girl laughed. Oh, he must be much worse than that if I'm to give you the drum, she said. As soon as Dolores and Sandra got home, they pulled off all the flowers in the garden. They let the pig out and chased it away. They tore their clothes. They sloshed in the mud. They were a lot worse than the day before. If you do not stop, her mother said, I will go away and take Arthur with me, and you'll get a new mother with glass eyes and a wooden tail. That scared Dolores and Sandra. They loved their mother, and they loved Arthur. They couldn't imagine being without them, and they began to cry. I don't want to leave you, their mother said. But unless you change your behavior, I will have to leave you. We'll be good, the girls promised. Yet they did not really believe their mother would go away. She's just trying to scare us, Dolores said later. We'll get the drum tomorrow, said Sandra. Then we'll be good again. Early the next morning, they rushed out to find the gypsy girl. When they found her, she was playing the drum again, and the little man and the woman were dancing. I told Gypsy Girl how bad they'd been the day before. That must be bad enough to get the drum, they said. Oh no, said the Gypsy Girl. You must be much worse than that. But we promised our mother to be good from now on, said the girls. If you really want the drum, you must be much worse. It's only for one more day, Dolores said Sandra. Then we will have the drum. I hope you're right, Sandra said. As soon as I got home, they beat the doll with a stick. They broke their dishes. They tore their clothes to pieces. They spent their baby brother Arthur. Their mother began to cry. You are not keeping your promise, she said. We will be good, said Dolores. We promise, said Sandra. I can't wait much longer, said their, mo their mother. Please try. Early the next morning, before their mother was awake, Dolores and Sandra ran off to see the gypsy girl. They told her all about all, about all the th bad things they had done the day before. We were hard, said Sandra. We were worse than we have ever been, said Dolores. Can we have the drum now, please? No, said the gypsy girl. I never meant to give it to you. It was just a game we were playing, but I thought you knew that. Dolores and Sandra began to cry. They rushed home as quick as they could, but their mother and Arthur were gone. They were out shopping, said Dolores. They'll be back soon, but they still were not back when the time for lunch came. Dolores and Sandra felt lonely and scared. They wandered through the fields the rest of the day. Maybe they'll be home when we get back, said Dolores. When they got home, they saw through the window that the lamps were lit and there was a fire in the fireplace. But they did not see their mother and Arthur. Instead, there was a new mother her glass eyes glistening, her wooden tail thumping on the floor, 